It's funny, actually, that such an organic actor got to play such a technological character because the stuff that Industrial Light and Magic did, I have no idea how they did it. Robert was great. He came up to ILM in San Francisco before we started the show. He was a great sport, and whatever crazy thing we asked him to do, he did it. They did all these scans. They fed it all into the computers. They studied my run as I was developing it, and how are you gonna walk, and how are you gonna move, and I explained to them conceptually what I was thinking. They wanted to know, how did I think that I would come up out of the floor? So I remember them putting like a mylar blanket over the top of me and coming up, you know, almost like a flower and just And that became the pattern for the animators to sort of follow. We had a new bad guy, and I had to come up with something unique and strange for the sound of the T-1000. I think he described it as it sounded like a combination of machines and monks chanting. It actually came from a weird treatment of a brass section. And then I would turn it backwards and play it an octave lower. Inside, there was this human element and this machine element just kind of cycling. And that would be When I do something right in film music, these little hairs stand up on the back of my neck and I go, yes! And then I have to have the approval of the director. So I was nervous and I played it for him and he was just like, that's it. Robert was fast. He was like panther fast. And when he kicked into gear, he could outrun the motorcycle. We had a shot where Eddie was on the motorcycle that was being pulled by the insert car. And I said, okay, Robert's gonna come out of that door. It was about 50 feet away. When you see that door open, you get out of there. Jack Carpenter, the insert car driver, I said, no, he's not gonna catch us. I said, he's gonna catch us. People go like, well, they sped it up, and I went, no, that's fucking me, man. That's me. First time we did the run, I caught the kid. How fast are you running? I have no idea. I said, okay, we can't use that tape. <laughs> John Connor just died, and the world just ended. I said, okay, Jack, are we gonna come out of the hole a little faster this time? He said, yeah. <laughs> and Robert still almost caught us. If you think about it, if the way to be introduced to the world is as a Terminator, kicking the shit out of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Tell me another role that's as cool as that. 